That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about Extraction, which will be available on Netflix on April 24th, 2020. This is the directorial debut of Sam Hargrave and stars Chris Hemsworth. This film is about a black market mercenary. Yeah, you know all about them. Played by Chris Hemsworth, mm -hmm. who's hired to... Wait, what's his name? Do you remember? Uh, last name is Rake. Mm -hmm. First name is Tyler. Yeah. I can't believe I remember that. Tyler <laughs> Rake. So Chris Hemsworth plays Tyler Rake, a mercenary who's hired to extract uh, the son of a drug lord who's been abducted by another drug lord for ransom. In Bangladesh. Sure. Uh, so when I saw the trailer, I thought, oh, Chris Hemsworth must owe someone a favor. And it turns out maybe he did. <laughs> well, so, so it was written by uh, one half of the Russo brothers, Joe Russo. They, of course, are the ones that have directed the last several Marvel Avengers films, um, like Winter Soldier, Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so he wrote this film, uh, and it was uh, Sam Hargrave was previously a stunt coordinator on many of those films, including uh, Thor Ragnarok, Deadpool 2, and Avengers Endgame. So lots and lots of interactions with Hemsworth these men have had. Uh, overall, I think this movie's better than I expected. Sure. Um, the action sequences, knowing that it was uh, directed by a stuntman, that's correct? Yes, yeah. Um, I think the action is very well done, um, albeit kind of generic, but it's very well done. Mm -hmm. um, so the story in full is we find Chris Hemsworth kind of like loafing about. Mm -hmm. It appears that he might have like a, like, like a drug problem or a prescription drug problem, um, but he's hired by... Um, Which is obviously shown with like the bottle of Oxycontin. <laughs> But his sort of like the person he works with, that lady. Oh, I, so I really do like Golshifta Farahani uh, playing Nick Khan. So she's kind of like his boss. His wrangler. His wrangler. Mm -hmm. So she uh, finds him in Australia, tells him all about what's going on. Mm -hmm. He goes down to Bangladesh mm -hmm. uh, to extract this kid. But there's kind of a twist. So the drug lord, he, um, who's played by... Well, the character's name is Avi... Mahajan, Mahajan Sr. Oh. Um, yeah. And he uh, is played by... Uh, it doesn't um, matter. Ma uh, he's, played by, he, it's, he's played by an actor that starred in Gangs of Wasipur, which is Anurag oh. Kashyap's uh, epic uh, gang film uh, from 2012 that is actually quite good. But that's the, anyway, he's, that man's handler is played by... Oh, Randeep Huda. You mean Sanju? Is that the guy who... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Sanju... Saju. Saju is the drug lord's, like, right-hand man. And he goes to tell the drug lord, like, hey, someone kidnapped your kid. The drug lord's like, well, you need to get my kid back or I'm going to make sure your kid disappears. Because he's in... The drug lord's in prison. The drug lord's in prison. So Saju, <clears throat> he, of course, is like, well, I have to do something, but I don't have the money to hire an extractor because my boss is in jail and all his assets have been frozen. Mm -hmm. So he comes up with a scheme, which he says right in the beginning, like, I, I kind of have a scheme to hire Chris Hemsworth, basically. Mm -hmm. And the scheme is he is going to hire them for the $10 million they want, but only give them a small amount mm -hmm. of what he has. But then when they go to get the kid, they're going to ambush Chris Hemsworth and his team to steal the kid and not pay them the rest of the money. But that doesn't go so well because obviously Chris Hemsworth and his team fuck everybody up. Mm -hmm. So the bulk of the film is kind of Chris Hemsworth on the run with the kid trying to get him over the border or wherever the hell they're going to return the kid. And through that, through kind of some corny ass flashbacks, we understand that Tyler uh, lost his son mm -hmm. due to like leukemia, lymphoma, lymphoma something. <laughs> So he has this attachment to the son he's um, extracted, or yes, the kid. The kid, yeah. Um, and in the end, he ends up um, successfully transferring the kid, but it appears that Tyler is killed. But then in the final, final scene of the film, now the kid is like safe and sound and swimming. And we kind of see off in the distance the blurry image of some beautiful white angel, who we would assume is Chris Hemsworth. Which it just occurred to me that like this is their Shane moment, where is he dead or isn't he? In the end, they will never know. 
I'm sure Chris Hemsworth was like, do not make it, uh, do, do not make it so that I have to do the sequel or something. But um, yeah, that was the, that was the film. Mm -hmm. So my first thought after I finished was I really liked how it was shot. Like, sure, it's got the DP of Drive uh, and uh, Three Kings, Usual Suspects, uh, the man who, I think he was nominated for an Oscar for Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, yeah, the, the, lo the look of it looks better than... It's like a first-hand, like, uh, I don't know how you refer to that type of Well, show. a lot of it seems like almost handheld camera almost. Very effective, mm -hmm. very effective. I, I think it maximized sort of the resources they had because it seems like the scope of the film is very small. Like, mm -hmm. they're only in a few settings. Um, so I think it maximized that. I really liked it. The action, like the choreography, I thought was very, very good. Um, sure, but it, it also kind of, um, for something directed by a, a previous stuntman, seemed really kind of unfussy, except until that very, the, the shootout on, on the bridge in the end. Because if you think about other uh, stuntmen from directors, like the guys who did uh, the John Wick films uh, and, and Atomic Blonde, like those have a very elaborate choreographed. Well, Tommy Blonde movie. has that one fight scene in the stairwell that I thought Well, it's got a couple, but the one that in particular, yes. Right, that I thought was very well done. But John Wick, I think the fighting's too much. Like, it, it's very well done, but it's just too much. I did think the fighting and extraction, it was just enough. I think the yeah. violence was just enough. The gore is just enough. There were many moments where I was like, oh, shit, like... <laughs> Yeah, to, so it was effective. To me, yeah, it felt like... Like, like was, I wasn't numb to it the way I am John Wick. Right, like he wasn't trying to show off just those no. skills, perhaps. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest criticism would be that I felt like this film looked like it was made from, like, a bunch of stock scenes. Like, sure. it just looks so generic. Like, yeah. it could be any sort of, like, war-torn region with any sort of ambiguously brown people mm -hmm. with straight hair, like... It just seemed very generic. It, well, and the plot's very generic, too. Like, even how they describe the um, the drug lord that's just kidnapped the child, Asif, this, he's like, he's he's like Pablo Escobar, Daka's own Pablo Escobar. And it's like, oh. Who looks like uh, John Wick, the body coach, but... <laughs> which I like. Is his name John Wick? No. Uh, Joe Wick. Joe Wick. Sorry. All kinds of Wicks here. So many Wicks. Campbell uh, Wicks. And it, it, you know, it reminds me, I kept thinking of the film 16 Blocks with Bruce Willis and Most Def, where... Most Def is under witness protection, if I recall it right, and he Bruce Willis has to get him 16 blocks to the courthouse before, so he's, and people are trying to kill him. Um, yeah, uh, and, and I also read interestingly that Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis were both at one point attached to this project. No, thank it's been you. Percolating for a no, while. Thank you. You know, Chris Hemsworth is. He's not as distracting as you would think he would be. I liked him just fine. I like him. I mean, I really like him as Thor. Um, and but, but I would think that he wouldn't translate well in other roles because he's such an otherworldly looking person. Like, you know, I don't think he's so hot. He's just like a tall guy. He's very muscular. His body shape is kind of odd, like the way Michael Phelps is built. I think he's just kind of an odd looking guy. But he blends in well in this film, probably too much so, because I feel like he's not very distinct. Right, kind of like in Michael Mann's Black Hat, too. I think I felt that about him. But Which I, is strange. You would think that he would stick out more, but he doesn't really... I also dislike his character's motivation in this. Like, of course, he had a child that died of lymphoma, and that's why he has this connection with his child. Like, I, I wish there had been either nix that altogether or come up with something a little more... Uh, you know, better written. My other issue is, like, no one in this film is, like, good. Like... Oh, I... Because he's not a good guy. I mean, he's like a... He's a mercenary. He's not like a... He, he, it's not like he's a Navy SEAL or, or like someone going into... I don't mind that, though. Like, I, don't, I don't... No, but it's like he's not necessarily a good guy. We're, we're saving the kid of a drug lord. That's not a good sure, guy. Sure, the kid's an innocent, though. Well, I mean... <laughs> sure, but yeah, like, what's he going to grow up to be? The uh, stakes felt very low. Like, I didn't care about anyone getting killed. They're all terrible people. I did like the image of Golshifta Farhani um, shooting... Was it a bazooka? Whatever that... I don't know my weaponry. Uh, a, a big gun. A big gun yeah. at the helicopter and decimating it. There, there's some nice little touches in there. Or the final, one of the final scenes where she goes to like a gala event. So she's all dolled oh, up. Oh yeah. And she, the, the drug lord who kidnapped the kid is in the restroom at a urinal. And she kind of walks up to him and shoots him. I thought that was a Well, because really cool the camera shot. pans to her and then it's like, oh yeah, like there's this beautiful woman at this urinal. <laughs> yeah, the, I think the film looks good, the, like well shot, uh, the, the action's effective, but it is generic. For that, I would give it two and a half out of five stars. 
I think two and a half is fair. If I could parse this a little more, I'd probably lean more towards a two, but two and a half is fine. I think. Anything else? No. Bye. Bye.